There we go. One more Maverick to go, and then we get to beat the final three stages. If anyone out there doesn't own a cat, I highly recommend you get one. You know how your hands sometimes get sweaty on a controller? Got a cat. Dries them up perfectly. Alrighty. I don't probably have enough to buy some more upgrades <laughs> if I wouldn't have wasted 50 on a life bottle. Um, we'll get life up 2 for 0, and that's pretty much all we're going to need right now. Uh, this next level, there are two things you definitely should get. They make your life a lot easier. Um, one of them is going to be the full life bottle, which the the rare metal schematic thing is near the start, so if you don't get it, just continue beating the level and uh, go back in later and try to get it when you can just exit the level. And the other one's going to be the body armor, which you basically have to walk over anyway, so it's also worth picking up. I'm going to switch to zero just for his double jump once again to try to get the rare metal when we get to it. Right here, you're gonna want to jump up on the dinosaur bones. Oh, I messed up. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to go back through this level again later. For the rest of this level, just dash and jump. If you've got the boots and you've got the headpiece, you should shouldn't take too much damage. You should be taking less damage than I am right now. Okay, this boss. You have to jump up the wall and hit the switch, which is going to trigger that arm that's going to smack him in the face. He's going to try to make that as hard as possible for you, as you just saw. You're going to want to try to trigger him, or trick him into attacking low, and then jump up and shoot the switch. <laughs> I recommend hitting the switch, though. Alright. Let's try this with zero. I've never done it with zero, but X usually isn't dead by now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. He's gone. We're going to throw a Melt Creeper on just to get the armor in a minute here. Alright, now we're going to be taking less damage, which helps a ton. And that's it for armor capsules that you're going to see me get. In fact, I honestly don't even know where most of the other ones are. I've only ever beaten this game four times in my entire life. Uh, just dash, jump, shoot, all that stuff. He's going to be throwing those little spinny blade things behind him, so you want to hit them so they don't go off in your face. This here is just a little annoying room. The boss uses this move later on. This is kind of just a 
a little way to ease you into it, I believe. You can't instantly die, you just take damage from the sides of the room, so it's it's no big deal if you mess up once or twice. I don't recommend jumping into the top like I just did. But... Alright. We've got to fight the robot one more time, and then I'm pretty sure it's just the last boss after that. The robot is actually easier this time. All you've got to do is dash back and forth and hit two separate switches. Go right, hit the switch. Go left, hit the switch. If you miss him, just keep dashing and shooting. He may hit you if he does. <laughs> Keep dashing. One more hit and you should be dead. Yep, that's it. Okay, we're gonna use... Squeeze Bomb on this guy. He's gonna blow his shield off right off the bat. I've never had him fly towards me like that. There we go. Uh, he's got a couple moves. One of them is that gunshot thingy, but this move will actually eat those bullets if I can get these shields out of the way long enough to shoot it. But basically all you're going to do is stand here and uh, knock these barricades over and keep shooting this at him. That's 100% the entire fight. This is his desperation move. It's just the exact same pattern over and over again. Jump up, jump over, jump up, jump over. Alright, that should be the kill blow. We got three levels to go. Mission accomplished. Uh, just out of curiosity, what am I, what am I sitting at now? We're up to an hour and eighteen minutes, according to my voice track, which may or may not be a few seconds off since I. I started it early or late, I don't even remember now. Okay, so this is... We've got pretty much everything we need. Oh, I lied, we forgot to get the energy upgrade in that last level. The energy tank, rather, I'm sorry. So even though we're going to unlock the next level, which is Jacob, we're not going there yet. We were going back to the level I just completed. And it doesn't really matter as long as you have uh, a character that can jump, which is all of them. You should be able to get this upgrade. Apparently if you go back to a level, the loading time is doubled. Speed running? I don't think so. Alright. Let's try this again. There. Got it. That's all we need. Let's... Go to the R&D lab. Welcome back. The rare mist, rare 
Alright. 